as you can see, I'm feeling very kind of springy summery today. <laughs> anyway, guys, so I have a very different video today. And, um, you know, I was kind of thinking, should I do it, should I not? But the truth is, I love to watch this kind of videos. And there's a lot of YouTubers, beauty YouTubers, who actually do these videos every once in a while. So I have been collecting my stuff, empty stuff, uh, of things that I've used up for a little bit. So I thought, why not? Let me share with you, because I really like to hear uh, you know, when, when, especially when people used up the product, did I really like it? Are they going to repurchase or not? Is it worth for me to buy it? You know, so I just thought, why not? Let's do it. <laughs> so um, I keep all my junk in this VIB Rouge kind of bag from um, Sephora that I've got a couple of years ago. Uh, so anyway, I probably don't even remember what's on the bottom of it. So let's just do it, okay? So this was the newest thing that I put in, that's why it's on top. Uh, this is a five-in-one hair rescue. Uh, this is like a live-in live conditioner. I've received this in one of the, I used to subscribe to this, um, what was it called, the test tube. Um, and they were sending a bunch of product. And the reason I unsubscribed for, from it because it was too much of a hair stuff or 10 towels. Um, I'm just fed up with this so uh but this was one of the product that was there so i obviously use it up um uh, it was good i mean i used it up because i had it but will i purchase it probably not um i don't even know to be honest with you what where to buy it but um i mean i didn't notice anything special so pass all right the next thing is all right so this is the cuddly hand cream if you have been watching my videos i am obsessed um, I used to be obsessed with uh, antibacterial hand creams from Bath & Body Works way, way back, I mean, years ago. Uh, since then, uh, for the past two, three years, they refor reformulated those creams and I hate them. So um, I moved up to Caudalie. Caudalie has been a lifesaver and I love, love, love those hand creams. So I go through them quite a bit. Then I'm also obsessed with a uh, brand that I cannot pronounce, Sashido, Sashido. <laughs> but this is uh, this is the uh, the cotton, you know, the uh, facial cottons. Uh, I go through them a lot, so I always stock up during the VIB rouge sale. So um, they are beautiful. They are just so soft and oh, just amazing so anyway i have been watching a lot of um beauty videos and uh tati from uh life life guru something like that she um she recommend this hair space so i purchased i mean look at this guys it's humongous it's really lasted me for a long time i'm not sure if it's really holding as much as i want it to be but it is a good product so um yeah i might i might repurchase this at some point but um I have something else going on right now with as far as my hairspray goes okay the another um empty uh, and another product that i'm completely obsessed is this my my cellar water from garnier it's just great i know i would like to use the um what is it called bioderma but first of all it was very difficult to purchase in the u.s i know now beautylish carry it so it's not a problem but this is equally good and it's a lot cheaper than Bioderma. So I really have been using this quite a bit. I also tried the, uh, I think it was a blue version. I don't know if I have one in here. Um, this was uh, like a waterproof that will repro uh, remove like a waterproof mascara. But um, I think this one, just a regular version is perfect enough and I just love it. It's just, it's just such a great product. Okay, so Another highly recommended product that I go through a lot is the Urban Decay uh, finishing spray. Any of those kind, this one is the All Nighter, but I tried different ones as well. I think they're all amazing and uh, you know the pump, the spray on them is just such a fine mist. It's just great product. It's a little on the pricey side, but um, 
I really like it and I use it quite a bit. I usually try to order from Nordstrom. They come in a pack of two and then they are a little bit cheaper than you would normally buy, um, you know, like separately. Okay, the next thing I used up is this Bye Bye um, eye cream. So this is the first eye cream from, as you see, it's all empty. It smells really nice. It was like a light kind of very light blue so this is the first eye cream from it cosmetic it was really nice so i have a different eye creams that i'm using right now but at some point i might repurchase this because i really really have been enjoying this eye cream all right next thing next is the uh, caress caress whatever you say this body wash is amazing um i had different ones as well um uh, which I didn't keep, but um, I think this one, especially this uh, uh, with peach, orange blossom, silk essence, I think this one is really, really beautiful and inexpensive, and I really, really love it. All right. One more Urban Decay. Is this the same? Yeah, it's the same one. So, got two. See, guys? It's perfect. It's really good stuff. Okay, the next thing I have <laughs> is the uh, Chanel, uh, what is it called? The Bronze Universal. I did not finish up this product completely. It's almost gone. It's because, you know, it's a cream product and I already had it for, I think, over two years. So I don't think uh, you are supposed to hold it that long. It says 18 months. So, um, you know, obviously this has to go. And I did repurchase this and I'm using the brand new one. I really, really, really like it. I wish they come in maybe a little smaller, uh, you know, containers because, you know, I, I, we all tend to use different products, you know, and kind of mix different bronzers. So uh, you maybe end up not using it, you know, within the 18 months, but it's really, really nice product. Um, all right, some more stuff, guys. So the next thing that I highly recommend is this Confidence in the Cream um moisturizer so um it's beautiful smells gorgeous it's super super moisturizing oh, i will be definitely repurchasing it probably closer to the um like a fall kind of winter time i think that's when i'm gonna you know start using it was perfect during the winter because it's like i said it's so moisturizing so i definitely definitely enjoyed it I have a deluxe sample size of Amor Pacific uh, little moisturizer. I love those uh, face creams. I think they're just gorgeous. I know they are priced, they are probably about $200 or so for a full size, but I think I'm just gonna splurge at some point and purchase a full size because any of those, uh, you know, deluxe samples that I have tried, I really, really have been loving. So um, yeah, I might definitely go for it. Then I have, what else I have in here? I have one of the solid, uh, the Beauty Blender cleaners. So it's all empty. I also go through those quite a bit. And then another thing I have, it's a Christian Dior and this is the lip balm. It's all empty. This is actually the second one already that I've used up. Um, I already have the new one that I'm using. It's Creme de Rose. Here's the information. It's such a great balm, especially during the winter, you know, if you need a little bit, you know, um, you know, moisturizing your lips. It's really, really such a beautiful product. It's a little pricey, you know, it's dual, obviously, but um, it's really nice. So, couple of uh, cosmetics. Let's talk about Too Faced. So, I hit a big time pen on my Too Faced uh, Milk chocolate milk soleil this is in the lightest one and i did ever purchase the new one and i'm using the new one so it was just very difficult you know to kind of get uh the rest of it out so i decided to get the new one it's such an amazing bronzer i really 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 love it so highly recommend it okay the next thing that i used up is this chanel um uh, not chanel lingerie depot uh, foundation from guerlain Unfortunately, this particular formula is discontinued. They still have Lingerie Depot, but it's in different formula. I did not try it yet, but I heard from some people that they it's so much different than the original that they don't like it. So um, 
it's this one is all used up i really like that foundation so unfortunately you can't even buy it um i, I might try the new formula at some point but i really have been loving my drugstore foundation recently so i'm just gonna stick to those okay the next couple of things i have it's the deluxe sample of express flower what is it flower gel hydrating mask from sicily i think it was okay i didn't really feel anything special so i don't think i'll be uh, buying a full size of this it's it's way overpriced then i have a concealer from uh, bobby brown and this was intensive skin serum concealer concealer from bobby brown it was actually really nice um it's very lightweight but i think i like my um shape tape concealer better or the um what else i like the mac pro longwear concealer i think i like it better so i think i'm gonna pass on bobby brown but it was it was nice um chanel volume de chanel mascara one of my favorite ones if you want to splurge it's 30 something dollars it's such a wonderful mascara but i really <laughs> have been hooked on uh chantecal the longest lash mascara oh my god guys this is just so that's what i'm wearing the chantecal today i mean i think my my lashes are just super long <laughs> it's just such a beautiful volumizing mascara so but it is expensive i think it was 70 something dollars so um we'll see how it goes okay one more mascara that i used up i don't know why did i put in the box is the uh, Trish Makeva, I love those tubing mascaras uh, and I definitely gonna buy one before the summer. This one is all dried up, you guys. Um, it's it's like uh, you cannot remove this with um, with a makeup remover. It only will remove with like a warm water, uh, which is great because over the summer is like not gonna be like you know like running or if you're sweating or it's just not gonna you know smudge all over your eyes and uh, I think it's great she has like two different um, I might have the other one as well yes I do I guess this is the same um, she has another one that comes with like a glossy uh, glossy container uh, and they are both fine I mean they are both those tubing mascaras and they are just just awesome so uh if you are looking for a good mascara mascara for the summer and you know you're gonna be like in a swimming pool or uh you know out running i, I highly recommend those trish market voice tubing mascaras they are amazing because i just went through quite a few of them um so yeah i really really like it okay a couple of more things um uh, moroccan oil for your hair great product i have already the uh like a larger bottle that i'm using right now so this was just like a trial baby bottle great 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 product all right two more concealers you guys now this one the nars uh, creamy concealer radiant creamy concealer is almost there's probably a little bit left but it was almost done but it's just i had it for such a long time that i had to just throw it away i'm not gonna repurchase this i i did use up two or three of these uh, i will not repurchase it because like i said i really like my uh mac and the tart so um i think i'm gonna stick to those so the same goes to the estee lauder uh double wear this was great i used i used this up many during the last summer so i just didn't want to you know it's almost summer is coming up so i i don't think i still have a quite a bit left but i just didn't want to you know take my chances on it since i having so much trouble with my eyes recently so i've decided to give it up but this is actually really good waterproof um concealer so i think for the summer when we if we go on a go away somewhere i think i might be repurchasing the uh Estee Lauder double wear because this one is really really nice um oh yeah speaking of mac so this is the one that i'm loving so much you guys so obviously this one is all empty this is the pro long wear concealer and my color is nw20 so i repurchased um the brand new bottle so yeah i really really like that concealer so i highly highly recommend all right and the last thing <laughs> another makeup product is the uh baby glow whatever it's called light oh yeah baby glow that's right <laughs> and 
and I have in a color light. This is like, and this is by Guerlain, by the way. This is, um, how should I describe? It's like a BB cream, but uh, as you can see, you guys, has like, you know, a little bit of the tint. But I think if you want to try um, a BB cream, BB cream from Guerlain, because, you know, Guerlain is such a great cosmetic line, go for the one uh, Lingerie de Peau BB cream. It's really, really nice. This one, not so much. I will definitely pass on it. It doesn't have as much coverage. I think maybe for a younger person, if you have, uh, you know, if you maybe if you are, um, teen and you're trying to you know just to cover up some imperfections slightly or if you're 20 something and you know um you know you don't need anything like super heavy coverage or you don't have issues with your skin probably you might go away with this but to me it was just not enough so i end up mixing it with um you know like other bb creams just to get a little bit more coverage so uh I will not be repurchasing this at all. So um, yeah, but definitely the lingerie de peau uh, BB cream is is nice. It's it's a good option from uh, Gearline. So so this is it, guys. <laughs> so this was my um, you know kind of empties for the past couple of months, or at least I try to keep things that I know might be helpful. Um, you know, and just to kind of you know tell you guys about it. So uh, hopefully enjoyed this video and if you like this kind of video please let me know and i'll be still collecting my empties and just do this every once in a while and share with you my thoughts so um i hope you have a wonderful day and i'll talk to you soon bye